Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Most of you are already familiar with this 2012 Lexus CT200H. So far I made one video about it because the owner came to me with a misfire on two cylinders. Also there was a slight overheating which happened once so we were looking there was a brand new owner and it was obvious that somebody was trying to repair that they didn't succeed it and they probably traded to the used car dealer and he was the one who bought it why we said that because after removing this cover we found out that there were two different sets of the spark plugs both models were incorrect and there were also two out of the four cylinders there were two aftermarket coils that's obvious and clear proof that somebody was dealing with the same problem misfire on two cylinders so what we did we checked everything we again swapped the coils and we finally installed correct denso spar plugs and that was basically part of that video and you guys view it a lot and many many of you said well what's the result did that help did that fix anything come on man and I have a great pleasure to report to you that that repair was successful the owner was using his little scanner and watching all the monitors and after like one week all the problems were gone and he was actually able to go and smoke this vehicle here in California. He kept driving it for another approximately two weeks without any problems but boom then the check engine light showed up again and this time it was intermittent and it was actually about that little overheating which he experienced before once and he told me he had on and off code P261B and that's a coolant pump B control circuit and knowing that this Lexus has approximately 117,000 miles knowing that it's approximately eight years old knowing that I in previous troubleshooting tested and checked all the fuses and relays and I also saw down there that the electric connector is correct at the electric water pump considering all those details what I'm actually going to do for him today is to replace that electric water pump you can see the item number right here in this shot and obviously when you work with the cooling system that will be also the thermostat I squeezed him in my schedule as an emergency so I will not have a time to film most of the day this entire procedure but I at least want to show you how it's coming what are the item numbers even tell you the prices so the pump is coming with the gasket as you can see right now and here will be this incredible masterpiece and unfortunately as we said it's pretty known that there will be problems with them and they will fail here you can see that propeller really nicely in many cases people will diagnose these the pump will be getting electricity on and off while being tested you could hear the motor going on but that plastic propeller actually if the propeller separated from this shaft it's not cooling that entire system so here is the pump and how much is this item 
My local dealer is asking $287 plus the tax. And I believe most of you will agree that common practice should be automatically replacing the thermostat. As you can guess, this part is not so expensive. But look, the thermostat is inside of the housing. It has two outlets, three studs and three nuts will be holding. And again, the gasket, if you see the detail right here, I hope you do, the rubber gasket, soft gasket is included right here. So this is all I have time for you, but I know some of you never saw this expensive electric water pump and this thermostat housing. So I wanted to really quickly share this with you and show it to you. And I show you in that previous video the location in this vehicle, but let's make this video complete and let's go look where it is located. In order to show it to you, I have to remove this part of intake. There are two 10 millimeter bolts holding it and two plastic fasteners. One is hidden underneath this cover this little plastic and second one it's right here and if I remember it correctly that's all what needs to be removed in order to be able to see down there is it correct let's see it's a little bit of wiggling around here this part actually splits in two so connect the hose I'm careful so here is this part of the intake here comes the long part the rigid part careful yes voila we will be able to look down there and with a little bit of light I'm sure you clearly recognize that electric water pump or I would love to call it cooling pump it's an engine cooling pump and here is that thermostat plastic housing which I was showing you on the bench I would love to film that entire replacement procedure for you but I don't have a time this was emergency I squeezed it in my schedule what can we do I gotta start working so he can have it ready for him this evening I hope you enjoyed, you learned something new and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching my friend and have a good day.